Woo! Parte vlog number 400. I thank you guys so much for sticking around with me this long. And a lot of you are newer. I noticed a bit more views when I did some video on the Peterson Automotive Museum in California. I am in Australia with a not so powerful computer and my main hard drives are still back in the States. So I can't really do anything special for the 400th vlog, but I have thought of something that could work out. Problem is, I did not think my laptop was powerful enough to edit vlogs while here in Australia. I did the same thing in Hawaii where I just held off until I got back. And then I decided to give it a try anyways. And I figured out some ways around that issue. So my vlog uploads were very delayed. It is currently March 25th and I am still editing vlogs from about three months ago. I think I'm working on December still. So I am quite behind, but they are getting automatically uploaded every other day just to fill in the gap. When this vlog gets uploaded, it should be April 12th. Now I will at that time be in peak mustering here at this station. You'll learn more about this place later. So hopefully I can get a bunch of stuff ready to go so it just automatically uploads during that period because I won't have time to edit. Also by that time, hopefully I will have my new Instagram completed. As I was editing this vlog, this is what I created. Travel Instagram. A friend of mine suggested it to me. Right now my stories on my regular Instagram are just loaded with my travels and stuff and it's taken up a lot of space. It's not technically an issue because it's not not on my phone or anything like that, but it just doesn't match with the content I post. I post pro photography on that page, so hoping to transfer all my travel related stuff into an Instagram. Basically how my current Instagram works is I only take pro photos and that's what I post. Everything else goes into the stories, which then go into highlight reels. What I'd like is for an Instagram page to just be posts of my travels instead of just going through the stories. So that's the grand plan with that. Hopefully I'll have some of it put together by the time this gets uploaded. And until then, I mean, isn't this a wicked background? You probably can't see my face very well, but I didn't want to prioritize this background. Thanks again, you guys. 400 vlogs strong. I had to stop boarding halfway through because of rain. And uh, leave it up to Australia. When it rains, it rains hard. It's like a lake out there. day. I finally got to the hostel. I'm in an old prison cell. Pretty cool. It is a private room, but it is also a bunk and it doesn't have a bathroom like the others. I had that option, but I thought being in an old cell was cooler. And uh, it even says in the prison rules, if you see a ghost, please notify reception immediately. There's lots of rumors of this place being haunted. But yeah, my flight was delayed and also one of my bags didn't make it to the airport. Unfortunately, it was not that bag. That bag just has my drones and my shoes in it. All the useful stuff is in the, my uh, suitcase, which didn't make it, but it should be here by tomorrow. But I'll manage for tonight. Yeah, first time ever having that situation where my luggage doesn't make it to my destination. It was a whole problem because uh, when I first booked the flight, I ordered for two bags, two check bags. Uh, I was even charged for it for the second check bag, but when I checked in online 24 hours before the flight, it wasn't registered, it just still just had the one bag that was already provided. So I bought a second one at the airport, a second pass, and the lady at the baggage services said that only one of my bags was registered, even though I put them both in the checked luggage area. So that really sucks but it should be squared away by tomorrow. I really hope it is. I hope it's not somewhere crazy far away. I mean, it does clearly have PER on the tag for Perth, so it should be in Melbourne. Uh, there's no air conditioning in here, so got the fan going. It is hotter than I expected it to be. But yeah, I'm gonna sleep in my clothes tonight, use a stick of gum to uh, brush my teeth in the morning. I've got a tiny capsule of cologne that I carry with me, so I'll have to use that instead of deodorant. Oh well. Yep. Iron bars. <laughs> I'm in jail, all right. The guards would walk up here, patrolling, watching down the convicts below, knocking on doors. They even have 
some of the information. Cage stairs are all still here. Bars on all the windows. More cells. Big gates. A prison indeed. Indian Ocean. That's three oceans. Most of the world can't say that. Three, three biggest oceans. I just got the Arctic and the debatable Antarctic. Yeah, mission accomplished. Australia loves taking their military aircraft out for flights. Do something cool. We have a laser projection set up here on the prison gateway and uh, you can like be on camera yourself and it shows up there. Pretty cool. Next rental car is a disappointment. It's a little Suzuki. Granted I've never driven a Suzuki before I'm pretty sure. So we'll see. Maybe my mind will change. This is my first time seeing the true aftermath of these uh, Australian bushfires. You can tell uh, a lot of these trees they're all brown up to a certain height and that's as high as the flames got and then uh, they're green from that point up but uh, yeah it just rejuvenates over time not all is lost but yeah some of the bark is still quite black on some of these trees Contrast, the other side of the road is green all the way down 